Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the March No More Mummy Tummy Challenge Taster Series. So, in this 14 day taster series, I want to give you so much information, exercise tips, nutrition tips. So, not only can you get the most out of the No More Mummy Tummy Challenge that starts in two weeks, but so you that you can get the most of our Birth to Fit Mom programs, Fit to Birth, Power Cores super fit mom and any other programs that you're doing and so you can just keep on progressing not just now but forever so all these tools and tips are going to help you basically for the rest of your life so today we are going to start with the real core basics and in the activations because if you don't get this right you can progress a little bit but soon that progression will be stopped and you won't. And there's things that you know you can in increase the risk of injury, obviously um, delayed improve, um, performance, um, functional issues, pelvic floor won't necessarily heal your diastasis to optimal, won't reach your um, strength gains, tone through your tummy that you may want. So all those goals all relate back to this basic core activation. All right, so I've sent a video through this morning on the e email link, but I wanna do the lives for you guys to ask me any questions and any specifics so you can comment here and watch. Okay, so with your core, activating your core, let's quickly go through. We only have four core muscles. Your pelvic floor muscles are a part of that special system. Diaphragm at the top, pelvic floor at the bottom, transverse wrap around here and then we've got multipedis at the back so your core system think of it as four muscle four sections and a canister so think of it as like an apple core okay so that's a really good way to think about it it's your central balance system okay if you've not got a strong core your in you know your core helps to support your internal organs it helps to keep everything up it helps with our breathing, it helps to improve our posture, balance, prevents hernias, etc. Okay, so really, really important that we have our core muscles strong. Right, so what's often tricky is knowing what works for you in terms of Q-tips, but also if you should be thinking about your pelvic floor more, do you need to think about your transverse? Do you need to think about relaxing your pelvic floor muscles to get the most out of your exercise? So we're going to get through that over these next two weeks. So already I can see some of you going, what? What's she on about? It'll all start to become clear. All right. So what I want you to all just do, and we can do this standing up. We often um, do assessments um, lying down on the floor. And that's not necessarily great because it can start to switch off those muscles, what we're trying to activate. Okay. So... What I want you to do is just, you can roll your tops up if you want to. I st I'll stick that in so you can find it. Okay, so you drop, you want to drop your shorts down. And kind of just here within the bones, okay, that's where you should feel your core muscles activate. Now, you don't want to be too high up because you're going to feel your oblique muscles come in. Okay, so you definitely want to be lower down there with your transverse abdominals. Now, I'm activating mine there as I'm talking to you. And you can't really see too much going on, can you? You can see, you can see a little bit here, but you can't see this, and you can't see really any movement. You can't see me tilting, and that's how I want it to be for all of you. So from the side, I'll show you. So really, really tiny. You can just about see my stomach. Just move back a little bit. So what I'm looking for on when I see clients, if you can contract your core muscles correctly, what I want to see is a movement from the zip up. I don't want to see, let me try and do it. It's hard for me to do it like that. I don't want to see that. So that's a downward zip. See, so activating upper. I want to see an upward slight, I'll do it a little bit more so you can see it. I want to see that definite zip up and pulling up, not a contracting down. All these muscles 
overriding, okay? So that's what you want to watch for. All right, so let's see if we can do this and activate correctly. So hands there, just give me a little bit of a cough. <laughs> You can all cough, you're all hopefully at home, not around everybody else. <laughs> all right, I know some of you guys are, are all still in different levels of lockdowns. Hey, we are lucky here in New Zealand. We're just in level one. We've got a lot more freedom now than what many of you have. So I know a lot of you are stuck at home. So this is perfect. All right, so did you feel those little muscles then pop up? Did you feel those? If you've just had a C-section, so I know some of you are on who have just had a C-section, these muscles can be extremely hard to feel because your stitches are across here. So it stops, it's, it's, a, it's a block for your brain to try and get through. Okay, so it can take a little bit longer. And for mums who are struggling without too big of a diastasis, okay, I like to get you to try and think about activating the core muscles in this position. So we release and then zip up and that can help anybody feel the transverse abdominals a little bit more. So to feel them switch on, you need to do the switch on on the exhale. So this morning we're concentrating on transverse, okay, which seems to be the main struggle. So you think deep breath in, exhale, and now I'm gonna think zip up, and those muscles should just come on just underneath my fingertips. Now I'll come closer so I'll show you. You can see. So you can't really see too much moving here and that's good. You can just see that little bit. So that's all it is. It's so subtle. It's not this mums. We don't want to be, that's too much. You're going to start to engage here and if you're engaging here it's going to blow out that pooch and we don't want that. That's often um, what people get wrong so it's subtle so think about that as 100% that's probably 50 you want it at around about a 20% connection very subtle on your exhale breathe in release exhale switch them on breathe in release okay so practice that today if you're struggling let me know if you're really struggling how to see section i want you to practice it in this position so full point kneeling completely let your internal organs relax on the inhale and then exhale zip up breathe in let them down practice standing and always try and practice, so we're doing TA activations today, with your hips and ribs stacked in this position. So that's the best position, not this, not this, and not sitting down in the car, for you to try and activate your core muscles. So think subtle, feel them pop up underneath your fingertips. When you're doing that, if you look down at your own fingertips, you should kind of see them just come very slightly, your fingertips toward, in towards each other like that, just really slight movement when you activate them on. So have a look for those. When you're doing it sometimes as well, it's good cue um, to keep your hands here to make sure that your upper abdominals and your rib cage is staying nice and relaxed. So if you can practice those today for me, try and do 10 breathing activations four or five times throughout the day. All right, tomorrow we're going to go over your pelvic floor. If you need to release it, if you need to think about it, if you need to think about that first over your transverse. All right, so tomorrow we're going to go through all that before we start to put them together. Okay, this is your key. This, I'm telling you now, if you can activate here, get this right, you are going to make such a difference in terms of your core strength performance, managing injuries, managing back pain, discomfort, helping you to pick up your kids, helping you to pick up weights, etc. All right. Any questions, anybody, let me know. Also, please send out the link to register to your friends and family. Everybody can register today. Uh, that's fine. We'll take registrations for the free taster series up until Wednesday. 
Also remember to go and join the No More Mummy Tummy Challenge so you can start to look at what levels you're going to follow, etc. because all the details um, of the challenge will be sent out to everybody Thursday this week. Bye everybody, have a wonderful day, go practice those TA activations and I will talk to you all soon. Bye guys!